This morning in Successful Living, we are checking in with the current real estate market, what the rates are currently looking like and potentially where they headed. Well, joining us this morning is Stephen Tetzner from Mortgage Equity Partners to shed some more light on this topic. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Great to see you. Uh, so much to talk about. You know, we're hearing more and more about the real estate market every single day. We hear about mortgage rates, whatever this thing is, that thing is, mm -hmm. and it's overwhelming for a lot of people out there. So it's so important that we kind of elucidate this a little bit. Let's talk, Stephen, a little bit about where rates are now and maybe in your estimation, where they're predicted to head. So right now, the average 30-year mortgage rate is probably about in the mid sevens. If somebody has, you know, very large down payment, exceptional credit, they might do a little better. If somebody's on the other end of the spectrum, it might be a little worse. But in general, right now, in the sevens. So let's talk about adjustable rate mortgages. Uh, for certain people out there, maybe this is the ideal option. For some, maybe not. How do they kind of work together? The, the problem right now is the availability of adjustables. Um, the, right now we have what's called an inverted yield curve. So the inverted yield curve, the yield on the 10-year treasury, which is a benchmark for 30-year mortgage rates, is around 4.6%. The yield on a two-year treasury is around 5.1%. So they are reversed. And so the secondary market availability for those loans is not there right now. And then banks, uh, who they did have some adjustables last year, those have dried up as well because the Fed has raised rates 5% in a little over 18 months. So the federal funds rate, which is a source that banks use to get their money, is at about 5.3. And then the borrowing rates right now, if you look at savings accounts and money markets, you're seeing rates up close to 5.5%. So the cost of short-term money has gone up significantly. So many factors at play here for people that can feel a little overwhelmed when it comes to all those numbers. I know that's where you come in and you're able to help so many people, which is so important. So let's talk a little bit about you know, how the current mortgage rates are affecting activity for buyers. So right now, there are less buyers in the market because the rates and the prices are pricing people out of the market. However, there's still a lot of activity. You're still seeing multiple bid situations because there's a huge lack of inventory. And until the inventory situation improves, it's still going to be a seller's market out there. So speaking of that, you know, current lack of inventory, is this being affected by the current rates? I would think they're kind of working hand in hand in tandem somehow, some way. It, it's like the chicken and the egg. Right. <laughs> so the problem is, is that there are no listings, for, no houses for people to buy. People are sitting on two and a half percent mortgage rates on their houses right now. They don't want to give up that two and a half to go to seven. So that's become a, a, a barrier for a lot of people listing their homes. And then people who do want to move up can't find the house that they want to buy right. because there's a lack of inventory. So the whole market is really congested right now. It is a I think it's going to be a little while. Okay, well, at least we have something to not necessarily hang on to, but the <laughs> fact that you say that kind of gives people some uh, reasonable sense of how they should approach this. They 100%. hear that information from you and they think, okay, it's going to be a while. At least we know that moving forward. Yes. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Thank appreciate you for being it. here, Stephen. Okay. If you would like to learn more all about Mortgage Equity Partners, just head on over right now. We have links to them right now at roadshow.com.